These questions are often presented in a table format, and yes, time zone tables are a little trickier than your times tables. But if you follow the strategy explained in this video, you should be fine. Over the next few minutes, we will learn how to read a time zone table, and how best to answer time zone questions without getting flummoxed. Try to do this question in just 20 seconds. Yes, only 20 seconds. This is how fast you need to go for a question like this one to create time for harder questions in the exam. So, what exactly are we talking about? In your practice questions, you may have seen a table such as the one on screen. Question 1. Zach works for a medical technology company and schedules an online group chat for Monday at 9am London time. Aaron is on the group chat in Moscow. If the group chat lasts for 2.5 hours, what time is it for Aaron when the group chat finishes? Did you get 1.30pm? Option C was the correct answer. We are now going to focus on how to get this answer quickly, ideally in 10 seconds or less. We believe the best way to answer such questions is to focus immediately on the time difference between the two cities in question. Instead of calculating how many hours have passed between Sunday at 6.30pm and Monday at 9am, which is the other main method, simply count how many hours ahead Moscow is compared to London. You should see that Moscow is two hours ahead of London because the time difference between 6.30pm and 8.30pm is 2 hours. This means that at 9am London time, it will be 11am in Moscow. If 11am is when the group chat begins for Aaron and it lasts for 2.5 hours, then it will conclude for him at 1.30pm. Now try this slightly harder question based on the same table in the same amount of time. Question 2. At 12 midday the following Tuesday, Zach, who lives in Perth, sends an email summarising his response to the group chat. The email is received immediately by Ahmed, who lives in Los Angeles. If Ahmed takes one hour to then compose and send a reply to Zach's email, what time is it for him when he sends this reply? Did you get 10pm on Monday? B is the correct answer. Using our method, we calculate how many hours Los Angeles is behind Perth. Using the time zone table, we can calculate that there is 15 hours difference between 10.30am on a Sunday and 1.30am on a Monday. Los Angeles is therefore 15 hours behind Perth. We need to take 15 hours away from 12 noon, which is when Zach sends the email, Perth time. Taking 12 hours away brings us to Monday at midnight, and taking away a further 3 hours brings us to 9pm on Monday. Ahmed receives the email at 9pm on Monday night. Don't rush to pick this as the answer, however, as Ahmed takes 1 hour to compose a reply. This brings us to 10pm on Monday night, which is the correct answer. We hope these examples have shown that the simplest approach to time zone tables is to calculate the difference between cities or countries, and then subtract or add those differences to the times given by the question. As it happens, this video may also help you to prepare for your next international vacation. We're clearly just far too helpful here at the Anzag. Good luck and we'll see you soon. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.